We got news this week about Dwayne The Rock Johnson's next project, Black Adam. And they have cast Noah Centennial. Centennial. Who that? You have a picture of him? From, sure. from all the boys I from to all the boys I loved before. He was supposed to be our Prince Adam in the He Man movie that got scrapped. Uh he's he's been a Netflix darling the past couple of years. It's one of those pretty fellows, eh? Yep. One of those pretty fellows. They say what character he's playing? No. Adam Crusher. I was about to say, there's been rumors for Adam Crusher, but no com- confirmations. So no, I thought that did get confirmed. Yeah, did, speaking about too. projects that just take a goddamn lifetime to get made, like we hear about this Black Adam movie since like Man of Steel, if not before. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, geez, dude. I mean, clearly, clearly, either a he is confirmed as Adam Smasher. Okay, he's confirmed as Adam Smasher. Okay. Either A, Dwayne Johnson just loves Black Adam, which seems to be what he's going with, yeah. or DC already just hooked him up with the, the greatest paycheck of all time. Or maybe I, I think it, I think it's a little bit of both because he's well, he's, he's been the one who's pushing to get this project done because this is going to be his first trip into the superhero realm. Which is crazy. It's really crazy that in all this time, like Marvel didn't scoop him up and find a character for him because he's he is like. He is just like factory made for one of the, those movies. Yeah, but I think in terms when you think about Marvel, I think a lot they don't really cast the big names. They cast the middling names and then make them big names. I don't know. These days, it's like I, I just can't believe they haven't gotten to him after all these movies. After ten years of making movies, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know who you cast The Rock as. I remember like many years ago, I was like that dude should be. Losing. It's actually twelve years of movies now. Oh yeah, you know what, you're right. Twelve movies, and movies. Um, he's just been, but he's been sticking on being Black Adam, which like, hell yeah, for sure. I mean, that's a that's a big get for DC, you know, to, f- to have like the world's biggest movie star be one of their characters. But especially God, considering man. he already has a relationship with Disney in general. When you look at Jungle Cruise, oh well, we all can't wait to look at Jungle Cruise. <laughs> yes, that Hobbs is my superhero, also Connor. Hobbs is my superhero. <laughs> What about the Tooth Fairy? Oh, I'm, we're, we're controlling at the same time. <laughs> that's, that's my girl. <laughs> the Tooth Fairy. The other also, I would like to uh, just acknowledge that I can somehow bring uh, Black Adam back to wrestling without mentioning The Rock. Do it. You know who plays Adam Smasher in the CW? Mr. No. Adam Copeland Edge himself. Wow. Boom. <laughs> Season two. I don't remember Adam Smasher and CW. Season two of The Flash, apparently. I looked it up because I wanted to know who the hell Adam Smasher was, and apparently... <laughs> oh my god, it's this guy? It's what Edge. The... It's no, Edge. This... No, this character's a hulking monster in the show, so I'm surprised Noah Centennial's skinny ass is playing him. <laughs> so... <laughs> I don't even know what to say, man. Godzilla really do be thick, huh? All right. <laughs> yeah, they should cast Godzilla. Was he? What? There is, you go. Does he, he have cast- any other, does he have any other projects past um, versus Kong next year? Does he have anything else on his IMDb? No. No. Should cast and, him. And, and thankfully, he doesn't. Hopefully, he becomes the wow. thing in the MCU. Yes. Well, no. I uh, I I could care less. Li- I could care less uh, now that I know exactly who Adam Smasher is. That's Noah Centennial. No. Centineo. It's Centennial. Okay. But, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, we just have, like, not much to do like, with the story. Yeah, it's just, it's just, eh. I'm half asleep, so don't look at me for any content. I mean, like, literally, I, I, I had to. You can go back to on our YouTube channel and watch it. My review for "To All the Boys." P.S. I still love you, which I had to be the only guy in a theater for in a room full of sorority girls. It was hell. I um, guess P.S. You're the only boy that was left that night. <laughs> um, I had to sit through that piece of shit after watching the first film, which is actually surprisingly good. Like yeah, I like that movie. Like I'm sitting there, you know, like I. I Taylor, you know me. I'm the kind of guy who I'm like, all right, I got to be somewhat professional. I got to know what this past one was so I can give a comparison uh, since this is a sequel. And the sequel is garbage. 
I'm sorry. sorry to hear that. But if you want to hear that, you can go back on all audio platforms, Spotify, SoundCloud, and iTunes, and hear that classic, Who Are They? movie review. Yes. But, yeah, it's it's just one of those things where I'm like, he's an okay actor. I, I wasn't for him when he was cast as, uh, as Prince Adam. His name is Noah Centineo, by the way. He just uh, said it in a video I just watched. So oh, it's I've heard Centineo. And <laughs> I've, I've heard everyone say Centineo. So I, He's pronouncing it wrong, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's just one of those things. I could care less, right? Eh. Damn. When that no, I'll I'll take a I'll take a page out of Taylor's book and say when that movie gets made, I'll care. Leave it when you see it, brother. There you go. <laughs> yeah, right. Noah Sudafed because his acting puts you to fucking sleep. Oh, yeah. dunk air horns. He's dead. You killed him. <laughs> you bodied him. 